Family and friends gathered today for the funeral of Corporal Martin Reed, one of eight soldiers killed last week in a helicopter crash in Saudi Arabia. An official report from the Army as to the cause of this tragic accident is expected sometime next week. Though it's doubtful, it will offer much comfort to those left behind, given Corporal Reed's tour of duty would have been completed just four short months from now. Corporal Martin Reed, an American hero. Smoke. He must be clairvoyant. What a waste. You know any of them? No. You? Maybe. Known a few soldier boys in my day. Not too many soldier girls, though. So, where are you headed? Home. All the way south, Boca. You? I'm afraid I'm heading a little further north. How about some company, ladies? Leave us alone. Oh, come on now, Sarge. How about a little close order drill? How's about you drag your little hayseed ass back over to your boyfriend's there? Before I knock off your little dick and use it as a fucking cocktail stirrer. I don't want any trouble, man. Well, won't be any trouble at all. What do you say, Coxman? I'm on the way. That's a good little plow boy. I'm impressed. <laughs> Highlight of my day. Must have seen plenty more impressive things, being in the Army. They don't encourage aggressiveness. In fact, I'm thinking of getting out. I don't know if it's for me anymore, you know? Everyone's entitled to make a few mistakes before they figure out where they're headed. Even women. Can I buy you a drink? As the highlight of your day, how can I refuse? How'd it go? What'd she say? She wouldn't come down, Arthur said. Don't you forget the laundry. It's already in the dry, Ma. It's such a tragedy, oh, isn't it? Julie, honey, why don't you take that pie I made over to the Reeves? Sure, Ma. I made them one of my special pecan pies. Oh, that's so nice. Well, it was the least I could do. Now, honey, don't you stay around bothering them. Be all that you can be. Excuse me. Is that the Reeves family store? Yeah, that's one of them. And that's one, and that's one, and that's one, and that's one. See, they own almost the entire street. I see. Um, well, could you tell me where they live? Well, I could do better than that. I'm going there. I can take you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Cool car. 66 GT, 40,000 original miles, bored out to 305. Impressive. Definitely the right side of the tracks. You live around here too? <laughs> no, I wish. Oh, who wouldn't? So you a friend of the Reeves? No, just the delivery boy. My mother sent me over with this pie for Gail's birthday. 
Gail. The little sister? Tom, where were you? I was in the garage for a couple hours working on the car. Well, that's a waste of time, isn't it? You're not going to enter that race. It's been almost a month, Ma. Well, what's that supposed to be? That means that tomorrow I'm going to go in there and reopen the store. And I'm going to enter that race. I don't suppose anybody remembers it's my birthday this weekend. Oh, yeah, of course we have. What do you want to do? I'd like to have a party. Great idea. Absolutely not. Ev. It wouldn't be proper. Why don't you let her be, Ev? Gail? Who are you? I was a friend of your brother's. Martin? He told me so much about you. He even told me when your birthday was, so I thought I'd stop by and help you celebrate. Flipper! Flip. Hi. Hi. You must be Tom. That's right. Can I help you? I'm Connie Alexander. Marty and I were stationed in Manila before his last transfer. We were close. She came here for my birthday. Well, that's great. Well, come on in and meet the folks. Come on, I'll show you around. Hi. So how you doing? Okay. Good. I should get back inside. I I'm on my way. My mother sent this. First day, even though he was lined up with his company and they, they all looked alike, somehow Marty stood out. I don't know how to explain it, but he just seemed different. And it, it wasn't just those dimples, although they were pretty great. Then, um, we passed each other during a parade exercise. And the most amazing thing happened. <sighs> he winked at me. Well, that was about all the encouragement I needed. Next thing I know, we were together every chance we got. How long did you say you'd known him? Um, not very long, I guess, but when we were together, it was pretty intense. You know, he never wrote me about you. Well, I, um... He never wrote at all, you know that. I tried to get him to write home. I even thought about writing... just to sort of introduce myself, but... now it's too late. I don't think I'll ever get over him. Mrs. Reeves, I'm real sorry I wasn't at the funeral. I wanted to be, but I just couldn't. Excuse me. of things, didn't I? Why don't you stop it now? If I'd been a good mother, he wouldn't have cut us off like that. I would have known about her. He would have told me. I 
And she wouldn't be such a... <laughs> stranger. Oh, that's nonsense. You couldn't have been a better mother to any of you children. She wouldn't be a stranger if we'd go back in there and offer her a place for the night. It's the least we could do. I want to thank you guys for everything. It was really great meeting you. So, say goodbye to your folks for me, okay? Yeah. You're not staying anywhere but here. You can sleep in Martin's room for the night. All right, Em? Mm -hmm. Yes, we'd love to have you stay with us. It wouldn't be any trouble at all. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> get some sleep, you're gonna drive me crazy. I can't help it. Try. Do you think he loved her? It's possible. One thing's for sure. She sure loved him. Well, I can't believe how late I slept. What? Nothing. Guess I just expected a uniform. Well, this is much more comfortable. Besides, as of midnight last night, I'm no longer a member of our esteemed armed forces. You quit? Not exactly. I'm just not renewing the contract. Some milk roj. I'd um uh, I'd love a beer. Pancakes and beer? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It all goes down to the same place. Besides, who said anything about pancakes? So, you and Martin had plans, huh? Boy, I feel like some kind of state secret or something. Well, he left abruptly, without a word. I got a couple letters from him, though. He never really said much. Well, even so, he sounded kind of different. Hmm. I'd like to think I had something to do with that. Maybe you did.
So what do you think? Gonna be ready. Yeah, well, I sure hope so. I got a lot riding on this baby. If you didn't shoot your mouth off all the time, you wouldn't have so much to live up to. Well, women happen to love a self-confident man, Tom. Ugh. You don't mind packing up by yourself, do you? <laughs> Good. Hey, Julie. Don't tell me you got a hot day. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hey. Hi. Well, hello. How are you? Getting by. So when are you going to come out and play with me? I don't know. Your man a few words, that's for sure. What do you want from me? Just want to know what's going on with us. That's what I want to know. I just lost my brother. It's not something you put behind you overnight. I didn't mean for that to sound selfish. I know. Don't you have to go to work today? Walk me. OK. It's just that I thought that after it happened, you might have needed me. I did. I do. I think about you a lot. I need you to do a little bit more than just think about me. I think I talked Mom into reopening the store. I guess that's progress. People are getting real tired going to see Bluff run oil filter. Yeah, Ma still needs some time. Come on. I thought we should have dinner. Maybe Saturday? Talk things out? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Just dinner? Well. Well. Of course not. <laughs> that's better. This is your last chance in warning you. Greta, ma'am. It is good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Bye-bye. Isn't this a great place? It sure is. I come down here a lot now. No one probably pays attention to me at home. My mom doesn't even care when I yell. Question. Of course you can. Did you love Martin? A lot. And did he love you? Very much. And I'll tell you something if you promise not to tell anybody. I won't. Marty and I were going to get married. Really? Then you and I would have been sisters. <laughs> I've always wanted a little sister. Someone to buy things for, take special places. Would have been so much fun. But I can't do any of that now that Marty's gone. Why not? Because I'll have to go away soon. Why? Uh, I don't know. I don't want your family to get sick of me and throw me out into the cold all alone. <laughs> they won't do that. What makes you so sure? Because everybody likes you. What is that? Oh, don't touch it. Why not? Because I'll get a disease. Maybe worse. Maybe it's so... Possess <laughs> you! Come on, I'll race you back.
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude on you. No, no. I'm the intruder. Well, you loved him, too. I can't even begin to compare my loss with yours. It just must be the most horrible pain in the world to lose your baby. The child you carried inside. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. I really want to believe that. After a terrible loss, the only thing that keeps us going is faith. <laughs> Don't lose yours, Evelyn. There are people here who need you. Evelyn, are you ready yet? Time for that, you know. I've got an ace lawyer on retainer. <laughs> Didn't I see you in uniform the other day? That was my school uniform. In fact, I'm due back at St. Anthony's any minute now for my kind of taking lesson. Mm -hmm. I bet the old priests there just love you, don't they? What do you think? I don't know if I told you what I think. I'd probably be arrested. That good, huh? Mm-hmm. Tempting. Well, I'll keep quiet for a day. I'm not the sand and surf type. You look like you could use the any type to me. Just this? I believe so. 30 cents, please. That'll be, uh, that'll be it. Ben, last year, I practically won the medal. Except Becky got it. <laughs> Were you practically won? Yeah. Did Martin tell you how good of a swimmer I am? He certainly did. <laughs> Is Martin a good kisser? Yes, he was. Why don't you go on board, sailor, and make sure everything's ship shape? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Careful getting it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Don't go out too far. Be careful. Why did it bother you when Gail asked if Martin was a good kisser? 
guess I didn't want to bring up a lot of memories. You're sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you are so different. It was hard growing up in his shadow. Sometimes I felt like I couldn't compete. You shouldn't have tried. You're special in your own way. I'm sure there were things Martin envied about you. And if he didn't, he should have. All you got was a little scared. You wish. It's <laughs> funny you were great. Um. Come on, let's get a towel. Why are you biting your nails? You shouldn't bite your nails at all. Okay, run go along. Ahead, go ahead. There you go. Thanks for sitting here. for your thoughts? A penny. All right, then. How about a present? <laughs> what is it? Open it up. This is great. It's just what I need. This one's almost full. Good timing. How'd you know? <sighs> Somebody told me. Well, it couldn't have been Martin. Why not? Because I didn't start writing in this until after he left. <laughs> well, maybe you just seemed like the type. Like me. I write down all of my thoughts, good and bad. Yeah, that's what I do. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> How about a hug? What happened? What do you mean, Ma? Come on, Julie, you're cooking. Somebody has to, Ma. You are a lousy cook. You only go in the kitchen to eat. Just sit down and eat, please.
Is it Tom? I'm losing him. Come on, why do you say that? I love him more than you. We were having problems after Martin died, but he was coming around. He just needed some time. And then she came. Julie, honey, you are setting yourself up. No, I'm not. Every time I turn around, she's with him. Well, it is not going to last much longer. She'll be leaving soon. Hope so. wanted to thank you for what you did this morning. Oh, don't make a big deal about it. Gail would have done just fine without me. No, I, uh, I wanted to tell you how grateful I was, and then I, uh, I came up here where his things are, and <laughs> there's a, um, Roman sale at the church, and Arthur wanted me to Evelyn, these are just things. They're just things. Things are easy to get rid of. You know that. Just pack them in a box and away they go. No mess, no fuss. Yeah, memories are different, don't you think? Memories are forever. You can't give them away. Can't give them away no matter how hard you try. You really loved him, didn't you? Yeah, we, we loved each other. And he loved you too, Evelyn. He used to say uh, it was scary how much I reminded him of you. Stairs and make supper. And I want you to finish putting these things away in boxes for me. I don't know how you did this, but uh, we want you to know. Uh, I want you to know. Stay as long as you like. You must be tired. We've been at this for hours. It's fun. I needed it. Mm. We all did. I'll go get the rest of the stuff. All right, there's some in the bedroom, in the closet up there. Yeah. Well, um, it looks wonderful. What's wrong? I don't know. This is your daughter's 12th birthday, the only one she'll ever have. She shouldn't suffer because things aren't the way we want them to be. I don't believe this. This is great, Mom. 
Thanks. <laughs> it really is. Dear Diary, Today I spent a wonderful day with Connie. She has become my very best friend. She seems so real and is always nice to me. We laugh and talk about things I could never tell Mom. She is the big sister I have always wanted. I don't know how you managed to get it together so quickly. Oh, there's nothing. Hello. That depends on your perspective. No one ever threw me at party, so this seems pretty special to me. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. But you know the old saying, you don't miss what you never have? Uh -huh. Don't you believe a word of it? <laughs> That's very sad. There you go. go. You know the doctor for John Diet. Oh, you've let the elbows <laughs> off the table. Very nice, dear. <laughs> Lovely. Great. <laughs> Cake and beer. <laughs> Mom, it all goes to the same place. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, Julie. Oh, Julie. We did invite you, didn't we? I'm sorry. It was all sort of last minute. Well, we appreciate the thought, but Mom and I had to work. Tom, you ready? Oh, I'm sorry. Is it tonight? Uh, yeah, it is. Mm. Oh, okay. I was gonna help with the dishes. Oh, don't worry about it, Tom. I'll I'll clean up. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Julie, tell your mom that pecan pie was a godsend. I will. We loved it. It's the best I, I ever Julie. tasted. Bye. 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 She must have been quite a surprise. Yes, she was. So what's her story? She and Martin met in the Pacific and were getting pretty serious, and then he died. Martin never wrote about her? No, of course not. Hey. What? Mm. Let's forget about dinner and just go down to the beach. Oh, but I'm hungry. Me too. Mm. Mm, please. Oh. Come on, I need to feel close oh. to you. Okay. Okay, hey. Now, Connie, you've made a big difference in our lives. Thank you. You're making a difference in mine, too. By being around all of you, I feel as though Marty hasn't gone. Oh, hard to believe he isn't here. It must be difficult to accept such a tragedy when you have a life as perfect as yours. It is. And we've had many happy years before this. How long have you and Evelyn been together? Oh, 30 odd years. She came into town much as you did, uh, on her own and no clear destination, just uh, looking for work. You never met her family? No, no, she doesn't have a family, just us. To me? No, of course not. I just need some more time. Do in the meantime. Well, let me ask you too much. If, if you could just think of me instead of yourself. Please. That's not fair. Oh, come on. Ow! Mm. Want to get a drink? Whatever. Hey. Hey. Come on. Goodness, that was fun. I never thought I'd enjoy another family gathering. I'll leave you ladies to clean up. Good night. Uh, good night. He's a good man. You're lucky. Yes, he is. He's put up with an awful lot for me, though. I don't believe that. You make him happy. Well, we all have our own demons and regrets. You regret having a family? No. Family's what we're put on Earth for. 
children are God's gift to us. Each and every one of them. Some people say they're God's curse. That's horrible. Then you don't think so? If I did, I wouldn't have had any, would I? I don't know. <clears throat> Look, um, why don't you run off and find Julie and Tom and uh, get yourself out of the house for a while? Please, a crowd. No, not in this case. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we have some of the same blood running through our veins. Off you go. Night. She was coming here. Well, if it isn't my favorite beach cuddler. What? How you drink? Some of the time, lover boy. Mm. I'm meeting some friends. Maybe you'll ask me to join you and your friends. If you say one more word, I'll rip your fucking heart out. Mm. You already have. Hey, Tom. Long time to see you. Julie? What a coincidence. Excuse me. <sighs> Double dating. I just love it. <laughs> Pardon me? Yes. Did you come here? I just wanted to meet everyone Marty told me so much about. See the hometown he left. It's pretty silly, huh? Sillier than you think. Martin hated this place. Maybe he changed his mind. <laughs> yeah, right. Try again. We're not exactly getting along, are we? Why? Because I don't understand why you're here, what you want. You ever been in love and lost someone? I am in love. But you haven't lost him. Yet. Don't you feel like this is where you belong? Big wet dreams. <laughs> You're not serious about him, are you? Oh, I thought he was well, a friend of yours. Well, up to a point. Oh, so you've never had a threesome? You know, it depends on who's the third.
We're gonna head out. All right. Where are you going, Tom? Wanna do me a favor? Buy me a beer. You know, why don't I get you two? About three. Julie. We hardly spoke. I should never have gone in there. I screwed everything up. She's right, you know. I should never have come here. Julie said that. She's right. No. She's not. Something a little different, Evelyn. Oh, I don't know. How I... about some coconut brittle? I think that's just the thing, right, Julie? Just the thing, Ma. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, we sure did miss you around here, oh. Ev. Mm. Let me tell you. <laughs> she has Connie to thank for that. Oh, so I heard. She's thinking of settling in permanently. Oh, Arthur and I are so lucky. Uh, excuse me. Where are you going? Julie, what about my pie? What's with her? She and Tom are having some problems. Tom is fine. I think it's Julie who's got the problem. Here. So now, price list is kept back here. Right. And um, the stuff that's on sale mm -hmm. is kept on a very special page mm -hmm. in the front. See where it says sale? Mm -hmm. And if you have any questions, I'm here, or you can call and talk to Dad. Okay. Can I talk to you for a second? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. She's working here? Yeah. Why? Why don't you tell me? What are you talking about? How long have you known that she was staying here? Oh, come on. Let's not start that again, okay? Tom, I barely ever see you. You spend every free moment that you have with her. Now she's working here, and now she's not leaving. What's next? You're jealous. <sighs> Nothing is going on. Are you blind? Is everybody here blind? Can't you see the way she's come in here and taken over? Something's wrong here. The only one there's something wrong with is you. That's not true. This is all because of her. This is not about Connie. It's about you and me. It's not about you and me. This is about her. You and I were fine before she came here. Julie, you're jealous. No, I'm not jealous.
last thing I want is trouble. You haven't done anything wrong. Julie doesn't think so. Forget about Julie. You know, I, uh, I never got one of those. A tattoo. I was in the Navy for two years. Just didn't have the nerve. Afraid what my parents might think when I came home. So, um, <clears throat> what's the story of the rose? Oh, there is isn't. Oh, come on, every tattoo has its own story. It's own little window into a person's past. I was dating this older man who had a thing for feet and flowers. And? Well, we dated for weeks. You know, the usual stuff. Dinners, movies. But he never took me home. Then one weekend we went to the beach, and I noticed that he was obsessing on my feet. <laughs> I know I have pretty nice feet as far as feet go, but... So later that night, he finally takes me home. But we don't go upstairs. He takes me downstairs. To the basement. I started getting a little freaked out, but... Uh, I was also getting excited. So he guides me over to the steel operating table. And he suggests I get on it. And I think, oh, what the hell? It wasn't until I laid down that I noticed the restraining straps. And my heart is pounding like crazy. He lifts up this towel. And underneath are all of these tools knives, sutures, scalpels. slowly takes his blade and he traces my mouth down my chin. passed out as soon as the first needle hit me. And I woke up and I had this rose tattoo. Why the rose? I don't know. I'm just thankful he was into flowers. <laughs> it's quite a story for no story. It's nothing compared to how I got my other tattoo. You have another one? You want to see it? Mrs. Reeves. Hello, Julie. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yes, Julie. It's about Connie. What about Connie? It's kind of hard to put into words that sound like I'm some kind Jealous? of... Jealous? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't think there's a maybe about it, Julie. Do I have something to be jealous about? You don't know anything about her. You don't know where she's been. You don't know if she, her story's true. Julie, don't do this to yourself. What she says makes no sense. You know as well as I do that Marty hated this town, yet she goes around telling everyone that he loved word. it. Why are you cutting me off? 
How can I prove to you that you're all wrong about her? You can start by proving that you're right. Tom? Yeah? In, in Martin's letters to you, did he ever mention Connie? No. Ma, why are you asking? Well, she was his girlfriend. Yes. And you are spending a lot of time with her. Have you been talking to Julie? Well, uh, <laughs> is what she says about you and Connie true? Julie's crazy. She's imagining things. Tom, uh... Tom? Yes. It wouldn't be proper. You want to build a sandcastle? No. Movie? Not really. You okay? What is it? Come on, you can tell me. Aren't we friends? I saw you kissing Tom. You're crazy. No, I'm not. I saw you coming home from the store. What you saw was Tom kissing me. Why didn't you tell him to stop? Should I have? He's Julie's boyfriend. <laughs> You're making a big deal out of nothing. So if it's not such a big deal, you won't care if I tell? Tell who? Everybody. Mom, Dad, Julie. <gasps> Shut up. Ow. You're hurting me. I am not. But I will, if you say anything, okay? Do you understand me? Yes. Promise. I promise. Good girl. Prick. You scared the shit out of me. Such language in front of a minor. What do you want? I just thought we'd continue our conversation. Where are you going? You let go of me. But I thought... I thought we had an understanding. We were any time, any place. Gail, honey, you go on ahead. I won't be long. You sure? Absolutely. I just need a moment alone with Mike. But I'm... Just go on. Bye-bye. Would you like to step into my office? problem. You and Tom. That's none of your business. Oh, I, I just, uh, I happen to think it is. Tom has nothing to do with you and me. Well, let's just keep it that way, okay?
Julie? Oh, uh, Cal. What are you doing? You scared me. Uh, Connie mentioned something about a sweater she didn't want, so... Um, I just dropped by to pick it up. I just thought I'd look for it myself. Oh. You like Connie a lot, don't you? Sort of. You're not sure? Well, she acts kind of weird sometimes. Like how? I don't know. Let me ask you something. Should I ever show you a picture of her and Martin together? Mm-mm. Why are you asking all these questions about Connie? Just curious. I'm gonna come back when she gets home, okay? Uh, hi, Connie. What's up? Flip, why don't you go to your room for a while, okay? What for? Because I asked you to. <laughs> Something I can help you with. No, thanks. I already helped myself. Did you now? Yeah, it's like a department store in there. So many different sizes. I've had a problem with my weight. With your feet, too. I think so. You think you can accomplish something with all this? Any reason why not? Because it's too late. We'll see. Good luck. Completely. Okay, boys. I want to get a picture of this. Oh, Mom. Don't give me that. <sighs> Come on. Let Connie! Here we Where go. Okay. okay, move closer. Okay. Ready? Okay, so you record that time. Uh-huh. You put it down here. Usually it's four laps, but we've got five, but that's sort of average on the thing, okay? 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 Got it. Then start a new one and fill out this. Okay. Okay? So how'd it do? 15.2. Well, you think you should even bother going out there? Oh. Keep the sunny side up. <gasps> Excuse me, after you. So what are you doing tonight? Shh, don't talk. It's no use timing him, he's never gonna beat me.
That's a first. So I'll uh, see you tonight, okay? Same place, about to one o'clock. Mike, why don't you just throw yourself into a cold shower? <laughs> You're funny. Sexy. You don't mind you how much we have in common? Stop it. What? Listen, I'm through with you. Oh. Tom? Ah, yeah. oh, never mind. We'll talk about it later. I'll see you. I got him. Bye. Hey. Hey. You ready? Yeah. Okay. See you later, man. Stop it. Come on. I'd love to play it rough. No, I don't. Get off me. Mike. Come on, Mike. Get up. Chevy Caprice, the 305. Yeah. What do you need? Okay. Yeah. Now I'll get back to you. I'm sorry. I don't want your apology. 
I want someone to believe me when I tell him that Connie's been lying. I've heard enough. Tom! Come on. Please, just listen to me. Her uniform? I don't think it's hers. You're crazy. No, I'm not. I guess I'll just have to prove it to you then. I shouldn't be doing this, you know. Dave, a small little favor for an old high school fling is not gonna kill you. No, it's just gonna get me court-martialed. <sighs> Here. Name is Connie Alexander, all right? She's on leave pending a medical discharge. I have to return her thanks. Do you know where I can find her? I can't tell you that. Come on. Come on, there's regulations, Come you know. Come on, we're friends. We sort of had a fight. Yeah, right. All right. It was over some guy that we met. Ah, Stupid. sounds juicy. Well, you know how it is. Good men are hard to find these days. Yeah, I know how it is, Julie. <sighs> Please. I'm always here for you, you know. Please, Dave. It really means a lot to me. <laughs> Thanks. I wasn't really looking. I've never been one for cruising bars anyway. So what happened then? We spent the night together. It's quite romantic, really. I must have dozed off until around dawn. I heard a noise. She was standing at my dresser, wearing my uniform, putting makeup on. She even stole a bracelet my mother gave me. I was gonna ask her what she was doing, but I didn't get the chance. She was on me before I knew what was going on, and she had a knife at my throat. And you never called the police? How could I? Yeah, I understand. I just wish they did. You have any idea who she really is? Whoever she is, she's capable of almost anything. Tom! Tom, quick, it's Gail and Connie. They found him in the water. What? Five miles out, your boat was on what? fire. What are you talking about? The Coast Guard's bringing him in. Let's go, I got she it. She wouldn't listen. She swam away. I went after her. But we couldn't get back in the boat. Oh, it was so cold. I did what I could. Is she going to be all right? She's in a coma, Mrs. Reeves. Now, it's not a very deep one, but in these cases, it's very difficult to say. When will she wake up? Uh, her vital signs are stable. She's breathing on her own. That's all very good. Well, how long will we have to wait? 36 hours, she'll tell us. Right now, you might as well go home. Uh, I'll call you if there's any change, honey. I'm so sorry. It was so stupid of me to, to let her talk me into it. I don't know what to say. Take my mom. Make sure she gets some rest. Okay. Okay? Oh, honey. First Martin, and now this. <sighs> it 
It's all my fault. How could it be? I'm paying for my sins. Sins? Haven't you always been the perfect mother? Took care of your children? All of them? That's the funny thing about Gail. It's the first time she looked like going out in that boat was the last thing in the world she wanted to do. What are you talking about? I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining things. It's like all hell's busting loose around here lately. You hear about Mike? Mike? <sighs> you know, <sighs> when I was young, I made a terrible mistake. Tell me about it. It'll make you feel better. Oh, my baby. My baby. <laughs> Julie, listen to me. Julie! I found out about Connie. She's not who she says she is. I don't think we should be disturbed now. Call the police. Go, oh, what is it? What's happened? Oh. They called me Jenny. I knew that couldn't be right. What did you name me? Easier when I had to keep you away. It's very courageous. I only saw you for one little moment. They wouldn't even let me hold. So you waltzed into this town, told Arthur some sob story. Nice pick, Ma. Marry the richest fucking guy in town. Then what? You were too busy to remember me? I couldn't do anything. Shut up! <sighs> this is a nice home. little touches. I understand. I fuck it up with a bastard child. Oh, my God. What was I to you anyway? 
Another one of God's little curses? I was only 15. I didn't have any money. I didn't have any family. I had nothing. I, uh, I didn't have a choice. Bullshit. You, you could have loved me. You probably don't even know who my father is, do you? You're running away. I did. About a year later, I saved up enough money and I went to find where they'd put you. And I remember parking in front of this big white house and I, I saw you on the porch and you were so happy. And I knew that they had give you something that I, I couldn't give you. And so I left. I'm sorry. So you left and you're sorry. Well, where do you think that left me, huh? Certainly not happily ever after, that's for damn sure. I wasn't in that big, beautiful White House for very long. I wasn't anywhere for very long. Oh yeah, they would always say that they, they wanted me to be part of the family. But they didn't mean it. They never did. The mothers wanted kitchen help. And the, the fathers, took away when you, when you gave me up. The one, the one Gail's living right now. No, no, no. Don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt you. What I've got planned. It's something much more painful, much more lasting. What I'm gonna do is take away everything you've got. Everything, everything that you hold so goddamn precious. Blame me for what you did or didn't do. Mother dear. He couldn't be more fucking wrong.
Roger head.